Hey y'all, I fear the Tachyon Ops HD camera. This particular one I got is the gun cam version, uh, which is basically the Tachyon Ops HD, but then there's mounts that come with it and a little uh, mounting case that comes with it. Um, so it's kind of the, the gun mount version, if you go to their website, is just kind of basically the accessories of it all. Um, here's the camera. It's very small. I've used three other cameras besides this one that were meant for mounting on guns or helmets, you know, that type thing, an action cam, if you will. I've used three other ones. This one here is by far the smallest. All right. The controls are back here in the back, so it's nice and convenient. The other ones I used, one of them was huge. Um, one of them was kind of, it was wide and kind of uh, gaudy. And then the, the other one was uh, a little bit taller, about three times the size of this one. The second best camera that I used was the second smallest to this one, and it's about three times the size. They had very um, similar quality video and audio. However, the other three video cams I used, the controls were either on top or on the side. So when you had it mounted on your gun, you actually had to tip your gun to use the controls. Which is one thing I like about this, as you're aiming, it's all the controls are back here, so it, you don't have to tip your gun. You can actually be aimed in at a target when you turn it on. And something else that sets this apart from the other gun cameras, the other ones you had to press them on, you had to turn them on, you had to wait a few seconds, then you press record. This one here, one button does it all. Press the button and it starts recording. Very nice camera. And the stuff that it comes with, the mounts, it has this stuff here, it's kind of a Velcro-y type stuff. It's not soft like Velcro, but it's, it's meant, it's a dual lock from 3M. It's kind of meant to do the same thing. And here is the, uh, this one here is the uh, contour mount, which is for helmets, stuff like that. It's got these three dots in it on, on uh, all four sides. So it just snaps in place. And that's something else that's really nice about this. You can actually use this on, like if you're using it on a gun, you can mount it on the six o'clock of the gun, the three o'clock, the nine o'clock, and up here on top at the 12 o'clock. You can mount it on all three positions. Some of the other cameras that I have, you can't do that. The reason you can do it is because each side does have these mounting things, so as long as the camera is upright, you can mount it however. You got this mount here, this one here is the tripod mount. And the clip mount. And then this right here is kind of a, it's a little case type thing, just for some extra uh, shock absorbency and protection. It's not waterproof because, you know, it's still got the sides open, uh, but it is going to, uh, you know, permit a level of protection. And it, it, what it does, it, it's allowed that you can snap on, snap it on when these other mounts are on. Now these are the mounts that come with the standard Ops HD camera. The mounts that come with the gun camera, first off you have the case. This is all metal, shock proof. It's got the Picatinny rail mount on the bottom. Comes with this mount here. Um, I forgot which is which. One of these mounts is for shotgun tube. One of them is for shotgun barrel. And then, actually, I didn't take it off my rifle. I, I um, have it mounted on already. This one here is a scope mount, and I hope you can see that on the video. Scope mount right here. So you take this case, mount it right on here. And as you can see, you can switch it around, side, however. <clears throat> and then a final mount here is for the rifle. The front accessory stud on your rifle that takes the sling or the tripod, you mount that, here's a little spacer here, you mount that underneath and then you put the camera here, or actually you put this here, um, actually I think you twist it around. Still got, if you put this on your, where you want to put your sling, still got a hole here that you can put your sling, still hook it on, goes like that. 
Another nice feature here I, I wanted to mention, if you have this mounted underneath in, like in the instance of say a, a handgun and you cannot access these controls on the side, it also has a button on the side that powers up and starts filming too, which is a pretty nice feature. You can't always access this back stuff here depending on how it's mounted, so definitely a nice uh, feature. This is a very well engineered and thought out unit. As I mentioned in one of my other videos, I, I did go hunting this past weekend and didn't see anything. So I did not get an opportunity to actually film a deer kill with it. I am planning on taking it out tomorrow uh, to the shooting range so you can at least see its capabilities. And this thing here, it's the, the video on it shoots really well. With any camera that's this small, actually even with my full size digital camera from Canon that I use for my family viewing, my family videoing, with, with any digital camera that you use, in low light conditions it's gonna get a little bit grainy, and especially with these really small ones. So if you're shooting indoors, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna look perfect. It's gonna be a little bit grainy. But I found when I shoot outside in, in full light, it's a very nice crisp, crystal clear image. It's a 720p image, so it is it is an HD. Um, to like I said, it's a very very nice image as far as I'm concerned. And for me, I would rate this probably around a maybe an A A minus. Um, it's I, I think it's to me the best gun camera on the market, at least of the ones I have tried. And if I were grading it on a curve as compared to other gun cameras or action cameras, I would rate it an A+. Plus. I, I, like I said, I think it's the best on the market. So, and I did find one drawback to it, and it's, it's not like a huge deal because I, I think in most circumstances you can prepare for it, but it is something to take note of. And I'm gonna put a little asterisk by this because I did talk to their development team and they are going to take care of this. It will be fixed and there's possibly going to be a, a, a firmware upgrade to it. So even if you have this camera, you can still upgrade the fix. And the problem is if you're sitting in the woods and it's dead quiet and you turn it on, you hear that chime. When I was hunting this weekend, I had an instance where there was a deer, a doe. She was already spooked. She had already, I don't know if it was me or some other commotion she had heard. She was twitching her tail, so she was kind of weary anyway. But when I turned this camera on, she was only 40 yards away. It was the last straw she, she booked. So it can be heard. That is one drawback. And I could picture that also being a drawback if you're law enforcement or military and you're using this, you don't really want that chime. So I, I you know, like I said, I, I talked to the development team and they agree, so they are working on a fix. So maybe even by the time you even see this video, there could even be a patch out for it, not sure. So they are, they are aware of it um, and they are fixing it. So, but even with that, you know, like I said, once the, the patch comes down, I, I rate this a, a 10 out of 10, um, give it an A minus. A, maybe even an A. Um, it's an excellent camera. I highly recommend it. It is the Tachyon Ops HD camera.